The House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. Good morning, everyone. This coming Monday night, as the sun kisses the horizon and the darkness of the heavens blanket the world, the Jewish people celebrate Pesach, Passover, our festival of liberation from bondage. It would make sense then for me to stand before you today with a piece of matzah, <laughs> the unleavened bread we eat that symbolizes our people's hurried escape from Pharaoh's enslavement. It would make sense for me to distribute to each of you a piece of matzah, what we call the bread of affliction, that in one bite we taste both slavery and freedom. Sorry, folks, no matzah. I think the speaker would get mad if I got crumbs all over your floor. <clears throat> Instead, I stand before you today with our sacred Torah scroll. In this scroll is written the history of our Jewish people, the majestic story of our creation as humanity, as a collective religious community, as a people devoted to divine love and justice in the world. We did not flee slavery simply because slavery denied our humanity because we were forced to work for Pharaoh's evil, because the labor was too hard and the desert was too hot. We fled slavery so that we might embrace this Torah, this sacred teaching, and hold it high, to lift our eyes to the heights of Mount Sinai to receive divine revelation, not as a callous bumper sticker to be used against people, but as a theological mandate that we would never forget the whip of the taskmaster and the stench of slavery that we would carry scars across our back from the beating of Pharaoh's swords and demand, demand for the rest of eternity that every human being be treated with dignity, that we would create a world of justice, that to be a Jew meant speaking boldly and lovingly and courageously for human dignity. In this Torah is the sacred story of our people's liberation from slavery and our religious commitment that, our, that states that our moral mandate is to love our neighbor, to welcome the stranger, to care for the sick, the poor, the weak, and the elderly. The commandment most often mentioned in this sacred scroll is to welcome the stranger, the immigrant, and the poor. In this Torah is the sacred responsibility to remember our enslavement and call us not to bitterness, but to compassion, to reject cynicism and to embrace the moral responsibility of hope. As you, our elected officials engage in the work of our great state this morning. As you stand on this sacred land of the Dakota people, I pray you do not cast your eyes down, but that you lift them up. Lift your eyes so they shine with the light of Torah, with the light of compassion and the radiance of decency. Cast your gaze on the possibility of turning your swords into plowshares and your spears into pruning hooks. Raise your hands across the aisles of indifference, and like the ancient Jews dream a new world into being, where compassion is the cornerstone of our politics and dignity the litmus test of our humanity. Raise your eyes toward your neighbors, I plea, even the ones you de disagree with, maybe especially the ones you disagree with, and strive in freedom to love them as you love yourselves. Amen. The chaplain for today is Rabbi Michael Adam Latz from Shir Tikva Congregation in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The clerk will take the roll.
The clerk will close the roll. Quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal of the preceding day. Journal of the House, 90th session, 2017, 40th day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Tuesday, April 4th, 2017. If there is no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with and the journal will be approved as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Reports of Standing Committees and Divisions. A copy of this order of business has been placed on each member's desk. If there's no objection, the reports will be adopted. Hearing no objection, the reports are adopted. Second reading of Senate files. Second reading, Senate file number 800. Second reading. <laughs> Introduction of bills. The following House files have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House files and give them their first reading. Introduction of first reading of House files 2582 through 2584. First reading, House files 2582 through 2584. That's it. The member from Hennepin, Representative Pepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Committee on Rules and Legislative Administration will meet immediately after recess in Room 120 of the Capitol. Republican members, we will caucus right after rules in Room 112 of the Capitol. Mr. Speaker, members, I move a recess to the call of the chair until approximately 12.30 p.m. The member from Hennepin, Representative Hortman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. DFL members will caucus immediately following rules in our caucus room. Representative Pepin moves a recess to the call of the chair until approximately 12.30 p.m. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. The motion prevails and the House stands in recess to the call of the chair until approximately 12.30 p.m.